Okay, let me see if I can get something to tell me that the mic is on. Okay, mic is on. Um, we have somebody that dropped off some uh, food for us that is fans of Carlene's and the dogs who uh, has a German Shepherd. Um, and we were just chatting about uh, German Shepherds and Malawas and stuff like that. just met her. Uh, Carlene and Megan are on a photo shoot right now, so whether they get back by 5 o'clock, I do not know. Uh, I'll keep it going until then, and then uh, me, Chipper Steve will probably jump in. the most about George is the beautiful markings. Um, as a trainer, when you don't remember, I hate to use the word bad habits, but habits that you try to have to correct, behavioral habits, uh, things like that, uh, that's a good sign. Uh, and I've said this before, if I remember a dog's name specifically for one or more reasons, it usually is because there's issues that, that I have to try to deal with. George was not one of those um, that I had to worry about. So, um, you know, probably coasted along pretty good. Tumblr is doing better and is back down into the general barn um, and went out twice today. I think both Megan and I took Tumblr out to catch up a little bit. recipient, the process for recipients. Um, again, we're getting a little bit above my selection. You know, the board, Carlene, the higher-ups here that make all the policies and make the decisions on, based on the information provided. Uh, I don't really get involved in that until somebody says to me, this is what I've got. I've got a, in my case, a veteran with this disability or this and that disability. And then I start thinking about the dogs that I know of that could possibly fit that. Then I get in a little bit deeper uh, with exactly what's going on. I will usually meet a, um, a person that's applying for the dog. And then at the end of that, I'll give my opinion. And then once again, it gets decided up above my head because I don't make decisions here. I just go with the flow. Thank you. And then uh, from there, we just continue on. Uh, and then if it works out, usually Carlene will say to me, I need you to do this, and then it's taken care of. Uh, that was Spinner that almost got my... It wasn't so much that... Uh, it, you would have noticed it if, if Spinner had lunged at my finger. What Spinner was doing it was vocal uh, barking to tell me that he really wasn't in the mood to wait. Um, however, you'll notice that I also made him wait a little bit longer because you can't have that. Uh, we can't be given in to such demands as to be. So uh, that's common in some dogs. As long as we squash it off and end it, then, you know, Wrinkle was another one that used to do that consistently. Uh, wrinkle doesn't do that anymore. Wrinkle slowed down eating now. Um, it's just once we identify a problem like that, we approach it, uh, come up with a plan, try to solve it. Um, and there, there's another example. I know that Wrinkle and Spinner are like that, so you know I know Wrinkle and Spinner's name because they're on my list. Uh, so we just deal with it that way. Two dogs that went with Carlene and Megan were Dryer and Tumbler. They're on a photo shoot. Uh, just because they're on a photo shoot doesn't mean it's a guarantee. Uh, we do many more photos and shoots uh, than the 12 months that are there. Uh, Carlene just picks the best ones at the end of the cycle, and that's where they start to figure out the graphics and everything else. Uh, 
uh, but today was tumbler and dryer. Uh, and Carlina's back. Uh, no, a couple more minutes. I was just explaining to them a few minutes ago that you were gone, and I didn't know if you were going to make it back or not. I didn't know I was going to make it back either. That was a long walk. Camera. <laughs> um, let's see. Have, have you ever had to stop to lay a recipient, a dog, match training and tell a certain they have to come back and continue when? Uh, yeah, we have had, um, we had one a few months ago uh, where the dog uh, had an injury and we had to stop and go through the whole healing process and, and continue on with that. Um, it doesn't happen very often, um, but, I mean, it happens. There's really nothing we can do about if a dog injures himself. When you bring two dogs out to eat from separate kennels and one has to wait longer, is that planned, which you could pick to wait longer? No, it's not really planned. Um, we will often mix up how we do it. And the dogs are rotated frequently anyway, so they're not, like, that's not their permanent home where they stay the whole life here. We constantly move them around to give them more exposure in different situations with different dogs. Sometimes they're alone, sometimes they're not. Um, it's not a plan that we do. Uh, sometimes I'll take kennel uh, eight and kennel two. So it's, it's kind of a different situation, but we don't purposely make one wait longer than the other. We start training the dogs within weeks of when they're born uh, with spoon feeding. Um, the next round, if you watch the cameras, especially up here, you'll see a lot of that. Um, that's really the start of it. Megan and I really get involved later down the road, months down the road. But it really starts up here in the house when they're very, very little. see how many are watching you no you know to tell you the truth most of the time I forget the cameras are even around uh, things just get so busy that we just don't have time to notice the cameras hold the new mic? It's because Carlene has it duct taped to her desk. Carlene and duct tape are like Orville and Redenbacher. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Uh, Rocco is doing better. They're all doing better. Yes, uh, all the dogs had a better weight today at, at dinner time. They actually did very, very well. And I held them a little bit longer, and I, I see a lot of you notice that. It's sort of like the same thing with pace. I'll walk fast for a little bit, then I'll purposely slow down and try to see if they're going to slow down with me. That's what I want to see is the progress. I don't always hold, you know, I don't have a general rule, 10 seconds for every dog, and then let them go. I switch it up. It might be a little bit longer one day. It might be shorter the next day. Everything is kind of mixed in. Dogs will read your mind and they'll jump the gun. You got to keep them thinking all the time.
Carlene. Somebody said, are you aware of the draft horse and plow day on the 14th in Newberry Port? No, I'm not, but that, that's the kind of thing I used to do. And I guess there's going to be donkeys there, too. Really? The 14th, which would be this Sunday, right? Donkeys would be there? That's what it says, donkeys, too. Saturday is the 14th, somebody said. Oh. And Newbury Port's not that far. No, it's not. Of course, finding a parking space in Newbury Port might be an issue. Is it a what? Grand Port Pole? It says it's a... Get them soaking wet. Get us organized while I just check my emails just to see whether. Like, bye. I'll close that one too. And then open that one. Is your box cutter right here? Who? The box cutter. I can start opening. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, let's see. I have things here.
Like just you know, getting old. It's just awful. Excuse me while I get my eyes organized. Here. Whoa. <laughs> um, okay. Stephanie Cerrone. Beverly Mack. However, I am getting there Can't pretty quickly. Microphone. I was supposed to change the microphone back to the old one, but we went out and I think we did a calendar shot today. We really have 12 to go. <laughs> it's early. Okay. Okay. 
Linda! Another applicant. Well, Come from. Don't throw. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no. oh. <coughs> so I want to know where you went today to walk, since you walked such a long way. Oh, boys, did I walk. Well, it, it, Megan was going to do this job. It was a job. It was a, um, a calendar shot. And and William was up there, and Katie had everything. Kitty had everything all organized. She always does. I mean, hold on. Time. And it's, what are you going to do? Is it is that on or off? I think it's on. Why? Are you getting nothing? I don't know. They said they think I turned it off. Um, I heard sound through mine. I can't find mine. <laughs> wait, wait a minute here. I got to... I forgot how to do this. It happens. Okay, sound, sounds on, sounds on. Sounds on, okay. okay. Do I have to say everything I already said once? Start again? No, 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 that's no, okay. No. <laughs> keep, move on. Keep, keep moving. Move on. Moving on. Moving on. We have some more, some more political posters getting cut up here, and that's wonderful. Couldn't happen to a nicer cause. Harold and Wanda. They get a lot of political posters. You know? Texas is a volatile state. I can't read. Somebody's tough on crime. <laughs> He's an arker. Oh, maybe his name is Barker. Look at that. I can glue them together. I think Carolyn wanted to have become the doctor. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, yeah. That, I, that would be. Oh! Oh, well, we do a remote dog test out there. That was not a good thing. Somebody just did. I could leave that right there. Would that be all right? It's probably a good idea for now because this just isn't going to stick. So we have some more no. tape nearby. No, it's over there. What if I just stand here like this? No, you just stand right there like that, okay? That's not happening. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what I can do with it. Hey, there you go. There you go. How's that? Hey, shit, okay. Jerry Rig Specialist. When you run out of duct tape, it's bad. Well, that's Actually, I think that's gaffer's tape, which is better than that. It is, actually. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Gaffer's tape. These are the utility bills. Utility bills, you don't want to hear about them. I'm not even going to open them. Put them in the round file. No, they've got to go in the. They've shut the electricity off. No details. It's all right. Okay, <clears throat> Judith from Salt Lake City. I'm glad we have some mail to open. Yesterday we didn't have any mail. Okay, they can hear you better now, but some people are getting a buzz. Well, the buzz, the buzz they're just going to get. <laughs> and no charge. No charge for the buzz. Okay, this is the first one coming for Dog Fest. Okay. <laughs> this is for Dog Fest, which I'll give the whole the whole thing to you. Okay. And then there's six chicken bricks, so I have to keep the envelope for that. All right, you keep that. I'll keep it. That one, right? Six. No. Judith six. Collier. Judith Collier. Ten, six chicken bricks, right? Six. That means six. Okay, that goes in here. The booking thing is unbelievable. Official Democratic Presidential Strategy Survey. <laughs> okay. I, I really, if I thought they'd listen to me, I'd tell them. But I don't think they're going to listen to me anyway. AARP, they don't listen to me either. Uh, they all go in the same box. Okay. Now we have a real one. Betsy from Nevada says she used to enjoy getting a buzz. <laughs> 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 all right, Betsy. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Okay. Well. Ah, fun, fun. Thank you for letting us view the donkey birth and letting us see the owlets. 
Thank you for email, call, trainer talk. They're having a wonderful time here. And of course, thank you for the dogs. What a great sight. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. We'd like to be appreciated. This is from Aha. It's that funny name I can't pronounce. Maybe it's on the envelope. Uh-oh. No, you're on your own. It's from Canada. K-E-L-O-W-N-A. K-E-L-O-W-N-A. Kelowna. 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 Something, something like that. It's Canadian, eh? There it is, eh? There it is. And here we have Jan. Mailed on 5-9. What are we up to? Five something? Five fourteen. No, that's not right, is it? That's the time. <laughs> can't, who? can't win them all. Blue King. King. Okay, we got a dollar for the fun jug. Thank you for bringing Maud and her baby into the driveway so we can see them. Really appreciate it. Love the pink flamingos. Didn't see them this morning, but know they'll pop up somewhere. <laughs> Hope you all get your projects done that you wrote about in the Daily Doggy. A staggering bunch of them. Keep the great work. I'll be happily sitting in front of my computer watching. Love you all and everything you're able to see. Thanks to all. Jen. Okay. I, we've changed the parking arrangement so that the donkey can be seen by camera. Yes, that's I why. That. <laughs> that's why I was late for meal call, just so you know. That's, that's why everybody has to park down the driveway. But that will soon be remedied. <clears throat> When we start to do the infirmary, they will have to dig out a bunch of soil. And there's a wire under there, I have to remind them. <laughs> At yeah, any rate, um, when they dig out that soil, we're going to use that soil to improve the ramp down into the new parking area so that people can go down in there and park. Oh, so that'll work out, but it's all being held up by the building inspector. That's going to be done by tomorrow? Tomorrow. When it rains, look for rainbows, and when it's dark, look for stars. All right. Except I'm usually in bed by then. Oh, oh. In the cookie of life, friends of the chocolate chips. That's cute. Want to try it again? You didn't get it the first time. It just makes me hungry. I mean, <laughs> I huffed and I puffed, and then I got up out of my chair. <laughs> yep, that's about right. Truly great friends are hard to find, difficult to leave, and impossible to forget. Absolutely true. Okay. People will enjoy looking at those when they pick up. I don't have any more. I'm done. Except for the, except for the, except for the, whatever this is. The bills. Those are bills. I don't even want to look at them. They're very depressing, I'm sure. Is that from WS in Texas? This is from this Wilma? Uh, yeah, WS from Texas. Okay. Am I supposed to remember yeah, no, that? You, no, this, that's the name. Um, okay, so I'm not supposed to say anything? Yeah, WS from Texas. Okay. Am I supposed to open it? Yes. Okay. You can do that. I can do that. But I can do it. Whatever it is, it's very well wrapped. There's one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we got a card? Oh, it's on the back side. Okay. we go. Oh, we got some fun money. Carly, just something for Maud's stall. These are great for saving money and waste. Very little waste of hay. Enjoy doing it all at Curzy Acres. Keep up the good work. Watch four. Hmm. 
four something or other. Birth. Bella George Doctors Hunter. Oh, the four the four videos. She watched four videos. So therefore we have four dollars for the pot fun fun. There we go. Dollaring up. And this is from WS. Okay. That I know what this is. Oh. Tough nuts, okay. This is Haywood. Huh. Somebody could help me. <laughs> That'd be great. Ah, <laughs> uh, unavailable. Yeah. Service dog project. Speaking. I don't need. I know. I can't do any research right now. I'm busy. Go ahead. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We are getting there. We are not there yet, but we are getting there. That was some research company. They wanted me to research something. seen advertisements for these things and I I didn't buy one but I thought about it it's basically chaos it's chaos it's a very sophisticated hay rack it's a, I've seen them I was just getting used to the bags well you got it made it's purple it's purple there you go Oh, that's a good one, too. You know why it's a good one? Because I don't think the baby's going to get its head stuck in it. I had to take the other one down. Because it was too... The, the holes were too big. This would be good. No, and it hangs down. It's, you open it up. What? No. Oh, no. I would. Well, it's a good thing you're not going to get day. a pie through one of those holes. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to hang. It's got to hang that way. And that's got to turn up and get held up by this. Right? Bud! <laughs> that name, by the way, was pronounced Kulonu. Kulonu. Kulonu? <laughs> Oh. Okay, so so this will go that way. There we go. There we go. See that? And then that goes that way. See, there you go. See how that works? And then you put the hay in there. That's wonderful. Okay. We'll do that. Stop it! Chaos. Chaos. Zip it. I don't want to lose that piece. Okay, so since I'm so far from this mic and it's not coming across well, they want me to use sign language and charades. Okay, go ahead. I don't know sign language. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to be saying. <laughs> Do we ever? <laughs> he doesn't know what he's going to talk about. Okay. The only sign language I know will I have to feed square bear. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay, you want to put this over there? This looks like a fun thing. If not, when you put the hay in it, it gets shorter. It gets shorter. Now, what else are we doing? We're doing this. Is that right? No. You want it on the stool or no? No, that's the calendar. Oh, it's the calendar. That's right, the one. Wait, it's the one. Let's try that one. Which one? The one you put your stool on. He's going to do all the work. Michelle Del Porte.
fire season. We have lots of fire starters. We're not out of fire season. <laughs> we won't be on Sunday. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, it's an, it's an opener. My, my opener is getting a little dull. Uh, that's, that's a good thing. Some fire starters that I've been collecting for months. I thought I'd get them to you and start a new collection. Also put some letter openers for when yours wears out. Mine is wearing out. You're absolutely right. Thank you for all you do and the volunteers enjoy watching the cams every day. Michelle, the board. Sending more of the name homemade dog treats again soon. Wonderful. And this is for Chicken Brick. Okay. We've been bricked. And that goes in the Chicken Brick department. There we go. And these are fire department. They go in the middle of the fire. All right. Throw it. Ready? Oh, shit. Watch it. Here we go. Okay. So Here a few go. things from the Gifford Yard Seal. Oh, my. Okay. So first of all, you just said you need more of those. So there you go. Oh, okay. Here's another one. Thought this might come in handy sometime. Oh, <laughs> I'll not. I okay. Just washing it out. I'm sure. This is actually for gray, so you're going to give that it's a little tap. Well, isn't that cute? Before I do these last things, because these are going to generate some discussion. Is that, is that half purple? It's purple. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh my. And if you don't want it, we can give it to the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, think, I think it will just go to my name. Okay. All right, now. I need one to cut the grass. Check these babies out. All right, like what are they, right? Is that, is that the game here? This could take a while. Mm-hmm. They come apart? Are there two of them there? Yep. There's two, There's two of them there. Knee guards? <laughs> <laughs> the funny bras? I don't know. Funny bras? <laughs> For Vikings. Vikings? What's that? No. They go on your toe? In case you want to kick somebody? Why they're a protection? Your steel toe protection in case you're, you know, in case, in case you have a bird like that we had before. Right there you go. See? Bite your feet. So you now have protected toes. There you go. Well, I'm sure we can think of something else to do with them. Well, like you said, there's the biking thing. You put them on the wall and stick your phone in them. <laughs> I'm not sure how these look. Well, well you, but we've worn worse things. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Well, isn't that fun? Casey Toes. I just thought they were so interesting. They are very interesting. I've never seen any of those before. Well, what's interesting, those are on, you, you stretched yours, right? Yeah, that's it. It stretches to go on the back of your foot. Oh, oh, uh, it must stretch in the uh -huh. They're adjustable here, too. I see. Adjustable to toes. Like right here. You can adjust the length of it in case your foot is larger or smaller. And that's fun. Put a couple of those on. You can. Well, we'll have to think of something to do with them. That's for sure. Or you could use them as castanets. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna put them over there on the? Okay. okay. I'll let you know when he finishes. All right, we're done. We're done. I like the hat. Yeah. The hat. What is it, Irma Bombeck? When you get old enough, you can wear any damn purple hat you want. <laughs> <laughs> she said something like, something like that. All right. All, All right. Ways here. I'll <coughs> the microphone at you. There you go. That that is a very awkward chair. I bought those. I bought those casters. They were cheap. Don't ruin the calendars. Ruin the calendars. We don't have very many left. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, did you finish your story about where you went today and why you had to walk so much? Oh, I, I was making a calendar shot. 
Yeah. We took two dogs, black and white dogs, yeah. and put them on a bench. <laughs> okay. With a bunch of flowers. But well, why the walking? It was way in the woods. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you couldn't have picked a closer no. bench? <laughs> no, it was really weird. It was up on the Merrimack River. It was Mosley Park. Mos Mosley Park. Mm -hmm. Mosley is on the other side of the highway. Um, it's right on the, right on the Merrimack River. And it was a funny, funny bench made out of stone and oh, concrete really? and stuff. Oh, so it was kind of I don't know who then. found that location. Hmm. But that's where William wanted to take a picture of the dogs today. Great. How did it come out? I don't know. <laughs> we'll go and, well, that next, we'll next go November. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> We're um, right behind. We didn't got, what, 11, 12 to go. We have to have 13 pictures. Did Bailey eat food today? As far as I know, I saw her eating some. Yeah, she ate all her lamb. Good girl, lamb. Good girl, Bailey. She's a great girl. Oh, good girl. All right. Well, now they, now they're suggesting I use hand puppets. Both of I think we're getting into dangerous territory here. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, let's see. It, it, uh, uh, Regina says, wonderful gift of the hay feeder. Um, save the paper enclosed in the hay net. It is an instruction sheet. W.S. from Texas. I, I think I know how it goes. I did put it in the cabinet. I think I know how it goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I know how it goes. And um, Jane Bo from Halifax says, Pockets was eating a whole mouthful of straw about an hour ago. Time for her to get hay. Has she started? She doesn't want to do this. She's got a bit of heat, I don't think. Yeah. She's gunning it, huh? <laughs> Tina says, can't remark you. Um, tilt the hat and show the pizzazz. Cover one eye, just a little bit. That's, oh, that's the same thing as all these people are doing now. That I watch on television. These women and the hair hangs down over one eye. Have you watched this? I I took it really is some yeah. of them can't hardly see out of one eye. I yeah, it would bother the hell out of me. And then I'm now I'm beginning to watch which way everybody turns their head while they're talking. Yeah. And the one thing I see is Wolf Blitzer rarely rarely moves his head. Mm -hmm. He's straight up and down. Do you have a stiff neck or? I don't know. I don't know. But now you think Cuomo, <laughs> he's on a breakfast time. Uh-huh. He's cute. <laughs> he's cute. Okay. He, that makes a does. difference. Okay. He goes, he goes, he's like a puppy. You know, he goes way over his head when he's looking at something, you know? Uh-huh. Goes back and forth. Anyway. So, what's the deal? I mean, when people tilt their heads? Well, he just watch.